This piece of glass that you see in my hand is a touch sensor. Every single smartphone or tablet has one of these, but you can't see that because it is transparent. It locate your finger when you tap on the screen, so you can type a message without using a physical keyboard. They came with different size, depends on the size of the LCD. There are different types of touch sensors, but this one is resistive. Imagine you have two potentiometers, one for x-axis and the second one for y-axis. Each potentiometer has three pins, so we're supposed to have six pins in total. But we only have four wires, so how it possible? It's just like connecting the center pin of both potentiometer together. So now we have only four pins. To find the exact location of your finger on the screen, you need x-coordinate and y-coordinate both together. But since we have only four wires, we can't measure them both at the same time. So at the beginning, I have to connect the battery to the first potentiometer and use the second potentiometer as a center pin. Then connect the battery to the second potentiometer and use the first potentiometer as the center pin. I'm using IC4053 to switch the battery between the two potentiometers periodically. They are connected to this oscillator with a frequency of almost 5 kHz. I'm using ICLM3914 to drive the LEDs based on the voltage that coming from the sensor. One IC for X-axis and the other for Y-axis. This IC designed to drive the cathode of the LEDs. In Y-axis we have anode, this is why I used NOT gate to drive them. I designed the PCB and ordered it from PCB way. At the beginning, you have to set these two potentiometers. Put your finger in the center of the screen. Turn the knob of the potentiometers so the green LED in the center of the matrix lights up. Now the circuit is calibrated and ready to use. You can also use the stylus pen. This circuit could be an educational project or even a tester for repair shop. You don't need resistor for these LEDs because this IC has a constant current driver inside. You can connect the touch screen here or here, depends on your connector. This type of touch screen used in old Nokia phone, such as Nokia 5800 or Nokia N97. The main problem with this type of touch sensor is that you cannot use more than one finger at the same time. This is why the new smartphones has capacitive touch sensors, not resistive. But they are still using them in car display. The frequency of this oscillator is more than 4 kHz. That means the battery switch between the two axes more than 4000 times each second. It could be anything from 500 Hz up to 5 kHz or even more. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.